You do too much going out and not enough going in. All right, guys, what's going on? I'm here at a uh, conference I was invited to come speak at, and I just wanted to go ahead and actually just talk about like how you can land more speaking gigs, um, and actually the science behind getting more speaking gigs and actually being a valuable person to invite to go speak, right? Because you really don't want to just, it's not guesswork, you can be very intentional about it and actually end up with gigs purposefully, which is where you wanna be, you wanna be able to control this amount, because ultimately if you're a personal brand and you are a business, you don't want this to be a fluctuating thing. So this is a room, I don't know if you wanna pan around, of like about 250 seats, so it's not insane, but it's big enough that it's, it's a worthwhile commitment for me and my brand. Currently, I'm pitching a product to them, so I'll be making money here at the conference. And I wanna talk about exactly how I specifically landed this gig and how you can land more like it. So, first of all, the first thing that you wanna think about when you're landing any gig or any service really is, am I productizing the service? So, with any service, literally, whether you're a social media marketing agency or if you're a consultant, you wanna figure out how do I productize this service? Like, to productize it means to make it super simple for someone who wants it of you to make it happen. So for me, I happen to have a connection with the person who runs this um, conference, right? And so it was really easy for me to get on the radar and get to a point where I can be here to speak. But if you don't have connections with people in such a special way, in such an intimate way, what you're gonna wanna do is set it up so that people know that you're available to speak. If they don't actually know that you're available to speak and come present, then they're likely not going to invite you unless you have a really, really powerful presence online. Uh, and so a way that you can do this is set up on maybe your personal brand website or maybe make it very known in your content that look, I speak at events and I love getting to do it and you can invite me to come speak at your event if you want. Productize it, make it known, that's the first step. Second step is be very clear with the types of topics that you like to present on and the way that which you can actually bring value to somebody's audience. So if somebody isn't sure that, they're, that you're gonna bring value to their audience, so they're not gonna have you come speak because ultimately a conference for them is a, another element of their business and if you're not gonna bring more revenue for them, then they're not, gonna want you, they're not gonna want you to come speak, right? So you gotta be very clear, look, I'm willing to pitch, I'm willing to sell if you want me to, as well, I'm confident in the amount of value that I can bring to your audience and I won't damage your reputation if you let me come speak, which is a huge, huge thing. If you're hosting an event, let's say you're arranging an event, if you invite somebody that is going to hurt your reputation or hurt the event in some way, you're not gonna want them to come. So you wanna be very clear with the types of things you will and won't do at their event and be completely open to signing contracts, be completely open to meeting in the middle with their standards. Like my video guy, we had to talk with the event manager about whether we can and can't record video, what the rules are there, and we had to meet in the middle because we don't wanna be disrespectful. And lastly, but certainly not least, be very open, not just in terms of the conferences that you want to speak at, the value that you can bring, but personally, know, know your value, own your value, understand the types of things that you can bring to people, and experiment with that on a daily basis. Like, for example, with my YouTube channel, I know that I can bring you guys value, and I've proven that. So if I can prove that I can bring you guys value, and I can prove that I can actually help you guys, then helping an audience of 250 isn't that much of a stretch. It's kind of just like making another YouTube video, right? So know your audience, or, sorry, not know your audience, know your worth and know that you can spread it across a handful of people at once, right? And lastly, even though I, it was a, like a mental typo when I said know your audience, it actually is a great point. Know if you merge well with somebody's audience. Don't ever speak at an event where you feel like you can't actually bring value to people because then you'll be stuck in a position where, look, you know, you want to help people and you want to, you know, you wanna impact people and you want to bring them value, but you can't because they just don't resonate with your message. And that's not a position you wanna be in. You wanna make sure that every event that you speak at or every place you go to help and bring value, you're completely equipped to do so. So that's just off the top of my head some of the things you need to keep in mind if you do wanna speak at more events. I'm excited, I think, I think tomorrow I'm speaking at this event, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I'm excited to present. I believe you guys will get access to that eventually. I'll have to talk to the owners of this event to make sure that's a possibility. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.